subordinators. The most common subordinators are although, even though, to show slight contrast, because, since, so that, to give reasons, when, while, before, after, whenever, to indicate time relationships, wherever, anywhere, to indicate place, if, unless, whether, or not, to indicate conditions. As, as adjective as, to give comparisons. Whereas, to show major contrast. Subordinators have an interesting effect on words in a sentence. A clause, subject and verb, without a subordinator can stand alone as a complete statement. I went to the store yesterday. Complete statement. However, when a subordinator is added, the statement seems incomplete. When I went to the store yesterday. Well, what happened? The subordinating clause becomes dependent on something else to complete its meaning. When I went to the store yesterday, I saw an old friend. Idea is complete. Subordinating or dependent clauses can occur at the beginning or end of a sentence. When used at the beginning of a sentence, a comma is necessary after the clause itself. Subject and verb, although, subject and verb. Although, subject and verb, comma, subject and verb. In English, the subordinator always comes before the subject and verb in a clause. Subordinators and coordinators should not be used in the same sentence to introduce clauses. Choose one or the other, but do not use both together. <laughs>